Into low sec we go to get some ice, except this time we have a secret. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even joyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is the Endurance. The Endurance is the main upgrade from the venture when you're focusing on ice mining. It has drones that can fight back against the rats. And the bounties in low sec are higher. It's tankier than the prospect and can still sig tank. More on that later. Let's not waste another second and dive into the fit. Total cost of this fit is 127 million on the nose. Not so expensive that you're going to be upset if you lose it. No cheap modules here. Almost all of them are going to be tech two. We'll start off in the highs with the actual ice mining laser. We are using the tech two version. No ore ice miners here. The ore ice miner is not faster at getting the ice into your cargo hold than the tech two. Only real difference is you don't get any residue. In short, the tech two ice miner is for getting in and getting out safe without breaking the bank should you lose it. Especially with us going into low sec, you never know what you're gonna find. Next, we've got our improved cloaking device too. No covert ops on the endurance. It's one of the main differences between this and the prospect. While you cannot cloak mid warp, that's okay. You can still disappear if you need to. Finally, we got a probe scanner and we go for the big one because I like scanning stuff down quick. When you're in low sec and on the belt, there really isn't that much to do. And I like to scan down any other signatures that are in the system. Maybe there's a relic site, maybe a data site. I am not offended by extra loot. The mids, we've got two multi-spectrum shield hardeners and a single extender. Also an afterburner. This one's going to be a bit cheap because we don't need the tech two one to get the easy SIG tanking going. You go way faster with this on nearly double your base speed. And for the lows, you already know what it is. Three ice harvester upgrade twos, baby. You can use an inertia stabilizer if you want to have a better align time. This does shave off about two seconds from every ice cycle that you have. The rigs, we have a small low friction nozzle joint. This is going to help with that align time. And then finally, a processor overclocking unit two. You need the extra CPU. Get those rookie CPU numbers up. Before we talk about the secret we have, let's talk about our drones. This is where stuff gets fun. You have three light drones. You can only call out three light drones at once with the endurance. No medium drones here. Three light tech two drones are enough to kill some cruisers and above. You're going to be on the belt anyway. You might as well take out the rats. Then you're going to have two Hornet EC300s. This is your anti-gank measure. These are very important. They're one of the only ways this fit has to get away from gankers should they hop onto it. Finally, a single salvage drone. This is going to help you clean up wrecks and also give you some extra loot. Clean up the wrecks to make it harder for people to find you. Leave space nice and tidy. In this cargo bay holds the secret for this fit. When you're in low sec, you're not safe. But in my case, when I went to go film a little journey for this video, I was actively being hunted by a ganking corporation. Now, if you're like me and you head to null sec only to find the site you were going to do camped by literal space pirates, you need options. So instead of wasting a trip, going to low, coming back empty handed, you're going to take an alternate fit with you in the cargo to set up for mining or simply replace your ice miner with this wild miner and the ice upgrades with the mining upgrades. You can do this in any station. This will let you be able to pivot on the fly. If the ice belt that you're trying to go to is completely camped, you can go to another system or the same system, be careful, and start mining some more. Now, why the wild miner over the tech two miner? The simple answer is it puts us over on our CPU and power grid requirements, but it also has zero residues. You can make sure to go fast while not having to pop from asteroid to asteroid. Not bad. You can find asteroid belts all over low sec, but make sure you're going after the ones you can't find in high sec. This multi-fit gives you near guaranteed income, assuming that you don't get ganked. And before we talk about how to literally avoid a spider web of gankers, this is the hashtag secret callout of the video. I'm an Eve partner, and that means we get skins to give away to you. Behold the Vexer Scope Syndication skin. Vexer is a favorite of mine, and you best believe that I put one of these on my ship as soon as I got one. In order to win the skin, you have to do three things. You have to be subscribed. The bot will know if you're not sub. You have to comment with a phrase that we're going to give you, and you have to provide your in-game name so I know who to give the contract to. We've had in past videos, people win, and because they haven't put their in-game name, I have to re-roll it to another person. The phrase you're going to put in the comments is bling my ship, Loru. Do those three things and you're entered to win. We'll announce the winner in a couple days. Before we get back to the video, thank you for 4,200 subscribes, baby! Y'all, the growth has been incredible this year and we're gonna keep on chugging. Thanks again and let's get back to the video. Let's show you how to find ice in low sec. You're gonna go to your agency tab, which is in the top left-hand corner of your Neocom menu. Go to resource harvesting, click ice, have the filter be whatever distance you want, going to low sec and find a system. I recommend getting some intel on this system before you go for the first time. At the very least, open up Z Killboard, type in the system's name and see how active the ganking is in that system. 
there's always going to be some ganking comparatively to high sec. But is it the same person every day, more than 10 times a day? Maybe avoid that system. You can also take a travel fit ship that's very cheap, assume you're gonna lose it and go poke around the system, just see who's there. Now that you know where you're gonna go, let's talk about what you're gonna do once you have found and located the system that you're gonna go mine eyes in. You're gonna right click it, go on map, and you're gonna see the high sec areas around this that you're gonna be parking at for your low sec staging. Now we've talked about low sec staging in the past and we're gonna have an alternative to this if this is not your cup of tea, stick with me. You need to try to get a high sec spot that's close enough to the low sec area that you can drop off your ice in. And depending on how safe this area is, you can even bring your orca over to the high sec station after you've dumped a bunch of ice onto the high sec station from your endurance, you can put it onto your orca, compress it in space, and redock the orca. A bit cumbersome, but you do not need to rely on a player-owned station to compress your ice in this way. You definitely do not want to haul the raw ice yourself. You want to compress it first and then haul it. We have an entire video on that. The second way you can do this is you can sell your ice to a high sec buyback. High sec buyback is actually a player-owned corporation that you can find by typing in high sec buyback exactly as you see here into your search bar in the top left-hand side of your screen. You right-click them, show info. You do have to follow their guide on how to do it. Essentially, they buy your goods for 90% of whatever they're currently going for in Jitta. It's really convenient because for a small fee, they're going to buy your items from you from any high sec station. They do the hauling, they get the higher profits, but you get the convenience of dumping your stuff and keep on playing the game. We'll have more in-depth YouTube shorts on this, but suffice to say, check the link in the description to see how to use their services. Use whatever method is better for you. I, for one, like to do these a bit closer to the market and haul it myself. Now, all that's well and good if you can get your ice back to the station. But what happens if you are being hunted like what happened to me? So I found this ice belt and I went there in my endurance. Didn't scout, didn't do nothing. First mistake. The known ganker that belongs to a ganking corporation just chilling. I'm a little cautious, so I warp to the ice belt at 100 just to see what's going on there and start taxiing to the ice belt while I'm constantly just descanning. My thinking here is that if I see a ganking ship on the descan, I can at least warp off. Knowing that he'll probably be warping to the site and not to me, I would have to see combat probes for him to warp to me first. Now, as I'm doing this, I see an Astero on descan. Everything changes. There's a cloaky, and the moment I see it on the descan, it's gone. Now I'm worried he's gonna be able to warp to the site cloaked and maneuver around the ice asteroids before I even see him. Lock me up, game over. So I did what any self-respecting day tripper would do. I leave. I use my agency tab to go to another low sec system. Travel there all while monitoring local D-scan. We see even more gankers part of the same corporation that got this whole string of low sec unlocked. After some maneuvering and some searching, I find a fun little system called Azez. That's what we're calling it. We're gonna move on, okay? Here we find an ice belt and the opposite of a ganker. We found a fan of the channel, baby! Arhanala, God bless you. Oh, seven. Thanks for the positive vibes. Always great to meet a enjoyer of the Loru Gaming channel in New Eden. From there, we filled up our cargo, killed some rats, got their loot, and proceeded to head back to the market. Day trip with low sec tips summarized. Make sure to check everybody's status in local, marking anybody you think is spooky as such. Be sure to signature tank or sig tank around the asteroids. This means going as fast as you can, as far away from the asteroid as you can. The further you are, more speed your ship can get. This will make it so the rats are going to do very little damage to you, and it'll be harder to lock you down because you're constantly moving if some player comes on grid. In short, use your afterburner and orbit at max range for your ice lasers. Use your salvage drone to clean up wrecks. Now, this will give you some extra loot, but having no wrecks on grid is going to make you harder to find, especially if you're using the ore for the side fit. It's going to be harder for the gangers to know exactly where you are. The gangers scan you down and they see also Rex there. They're going to know, hey, he's right there, as opposed to any of the other asteroid belts that you could be on. Have a safe point that you can warp to that's not on any of the normal grids. You can make a safe point by warping from one point to the other and pressing Control B. Do this at a random point in between your warp destinations and you'll be safe or at least as safe as you can be. It's a really good spot to sit cloaked if you want to hit the head or something. And finally, when you're traveling back and to your destination, it might be better if you prefer safer in your route. You can do this by clicking the little autopilot A and selecting prefer safer instead of prefer shorter. This will make it so you avoid all of the low sex systems. Now we have a mining masterclass in this playlist right here. And thank you again for 4,200 subscribes. I really can't say thank you enough. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you press like and sub right here. We really want to see you come back and join the Discord if you want to be a part of the core community. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.